straight no chasers, straight to the point. That's what's up, everybody. Well, industries or well companies, they are located out of Purdy, Purdy, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but Purdy, Wisconsin. They have a lease purchase program for you. No money down, no credit checks. No this, no that. You can hop in the truck as soon as next week. That is what's up. All miles driven goes to your maintenance account. If you're in a 2019, it's 22 cent. 2020, 19, and 2021, 17 cent. They have they have a 2021 Kenworth for five and a half years at $860 a month with a balloon payment of 2688. They have a 2020 Kenworth and Peter built for four and a half years at 815 with a balloon payment of 2255. And a 2019 Kenworth Peter built for three and a half years at 785 a week with a balloon payment of 18900 The latter, the 22. I mean, the 2020 and the 2021, you're looking at about 200 k for those trucks. Uh, he said those trucks, uh, being that these are newer trucks, so I'm sure it's not going to have no high miles on there or anything like that. Uh, T-680s and Peterbilt's 570s, and they're all are automatic. <laughs> Okay, hello? Hello? All right, Trev, Trevin, I can barely hear you. Hello? Hello, can you hear me now? Okay, there we go, there we go. How's it going, man? It's going good, how about you? I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. This is uh, Sean. You sent me a dark text or a dark email about the lease purchase program that you guys is uh that you guys is offering yeah okay so um i'm i'm calling to you know get some clarification from uh from from what you guys uh are offering so can you go into a little bit of detail about the uh about the purchase program because you said this is you say this you said in your overview that this purchase program is different from your own purchase program so you, you guys have like two lease programs what's 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 that about <clears throat> wait can you say that again real quick I, I i asked if you guys have two different lease programs okay so we have the, well we we only do like the lease purchase but you can lease it like it's the same thing like you can lease it if you don't want to own it you don't have to lease to own but you know what i mean so, okay. I can go. Okay, so let's make everything e even more clear. I can do this in like two minutes. Okay, I'm okay. gonna go over the program and the term. Okay, you ready? Go ahead. All right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna the most popular one is a 2019. Now the Peterbilt and Kenworth those are even. People just go whatever they prefer. So we're just gonna use this for say a 2019 Kenworth for the lease purchase. So your lease length is three and a half years. It's 182 weekly payments. The weekly payment is 785, but if you have over a year of experience, you would qualify for our $3,000 sign-on bonus, which would give you $250 your first 12 weeks. And then our balloon payment is $18,923.06. Um, so how that works here, we'll spread that out to more weekly payments. A lot of companies won't do that. They'll make you pay that all in the end because that's the depreciation on the vehicle. So they'll just make you pay that all in the end. Here we'll just spread that out so you can keep generating more revenue. So let That's me one of the key points we have against other companies. So let me so let me ask you this. Uh, I kind of I I kind of calculated it. Uh, kind of calculated. So after af, after three and a half years, the total payment for the truck, including the balloon payments and the additional twenty six weeks for additional financing, I'm looking at about a hundred. I'm but looking at about close to two hundred k for the truck. For 2019, you would after all, yeah, because you got to think about it. When you do lease, that's what's always going to do. No matter when you go lease a car, when you're doing this, when you're doing that, you're ne you're always going to pay more over what the car's actually worth because you're 
you know what I mean? Like, you can lease a car, just like if you go out there right now and buy a 2020 car, right? And it's going to cost you forty grand, but you're going to do payments on it. By the time you pay the car off, it's going to be five years from down the road. So at the end of it, you're paying for a 2020 car in 2025. You're paying sixty grand for it because you did it in 2020, but you're doing payments. That's just with anything, though. Yeah, but we're we looking at we're we looking at a 2019 truck with with at least a half. They a million. already go for 150. Yeah, well, at least with a half a, with a half a million miles on there, and I'd say no, about you, time about, about you would time get it I, under a half a mil. Oh, okay. So about time I get finished with it, it will be you know close to depending on how I'm running at uh at a hundred yeah. at a hundred k. So a balloon payment, so, a uh, so I got to do the balloon payment as well in an additional twenty six. Uh, in a, no, 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 no. You're getting that confused. That additional twenty six weekly payment is the balloon payment. Is the balloon payment? We're not the addition. Yeah, there's no dropping eighteen thousand then twenty six more weeks. The twenty six weeks is your balloon payment. So if I want a twenty twenty model, I, I would be looking at two hundred k for that one. And for, for I mean, four point five years. It's four and a half years. The weekly payment is eight fifteen, so it's going to be over two hundred thousand. Yeah. But that one comes out about. Oh man, my mask goes are not all there. I think it's about two fifty. I did this with a guy on the phone the other day. It's a little bit over the other ones. Basically, another it's probably about two fifty. I think so. After all numbers. So what what would be my average miles that you guys going to give me so I can keep up with the payments on this truck? You hey, like I say okay. So like I said, it's at our company. A lot of companies do it different. I've talked to a lot of guys. I have a couple guys come up here for these purchase next week. And it's just, everyone does it different. But here, when you get the truck, if you do the program, literally, in the terms of no down payment, it's a maintenance production plan, which we have a really good one of those, and I'll spend that later. It's a no credit check, and it's a walkaway lease. So the truck is yours. You do, we will offer you a load. Say, and a lot of guys, a lot of guys get confused with this too. Say a load goes to California. No one, if it's your truck, you don't want to go to California because you don't want to put that many miles on there unless the money is there. You want to make sure your fuel and your you want to make sure your margins are matching up. Yeah, but that so, that that wouldn't make any kind of sense of me turning that down. I mean, I mean. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to turn that down. No, no. I'm just saying, those guys out there that will turn it down because they just preferentially do not like driving whatever they don't like going there. Yeah, and but that's where you have flexibility as a lease purchase. But yeah, if they, but yeah, if you figure that you getting a 200k truck. I, I don't think you will be in any, any type of position to to reject any type of load. That's yep, that's exactly. what I'm thinking. So no, no, and that's why I tell every guy. I was like, when you're rejecting something, you're rejecting money first of all. So I'm just saying, there's always guys that like. There's a guy I'm, I think's coming in next week. He's either coming next week or the week after, and he's just like, man, I ain't ever going up to New York. I ain't ever going up to New York. I was like, hey, if they offer you a load up there, you you have the option to deny it. You pick your own route. You have your truck. Your home time is on however you want to do it. When you're at, when you do pick your home time, your truck payments don't stop. So, so are I mean, we? Are are we? Are are we? What's is it? CPM or is it percentage that you guys are offering for it's these? It's percentage. So what's so it's what's the percentage gross revenue? What? How much is it? Seventy percent. All right, so seventy percent gross revenue. All right, so yeah. I'm just ballparking here. So for a thousand dollars, I I know it probably might 700. be more. It's seven hundred that's coming to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. You do it. Th- yeah, you do. And then we do a eighty six percent gross fuel surcharge, and we do a hundred percent refer fuel reimbursement. Okay, so by me leasing, by me going with this lease purchase program, you guys is offering nothing as far as benefits. Uh, insurances and stuff like that. This is everything is so, done by me, including the payment of the truck, right? Okay, so how about so we do have a maintenance, the like, are you talking about like health benefits and all that? Yeah, you, yeah, you would health, have to yeah, do that. Yeah, that's you would do yeah. have to do health benefits. Yeah, health benenefits, dental, vision, and all that other good stuff for yeah, one Yeah, you guys, you guys don't offer any of that other than the fact that I just have to pay you guys the truck. I mean, pay for the truck every week, and you guys pay me. You guys pay me my money, my settlement at the yeah. end of the week. Is that That's bi week? Is that bi weekly or weekly? And is it direct deposit? It would be direct deposit, and it would be weekly. You'd get paid for that load. 
So, like, say after you do your run, you're going to get paid for that run. It's by, it's weekly. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we would have to pay you weekly because you got to make your truck payments weekly. Right, right, right. Okay. So, uh, so for us, uh, lease drivers, you guys offer a safety reward program. What's the, what's the dip? What's, what's the difference in the amounts? I, I see one, uh, ain't the level three is the highest one that you should get paid more or is that the level one? Are you asking, wait, what are you? Are I'm, you asking what's the difference between that and a company driver? Are you asking no, what no, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm reading what you sent me. Uh, you said something about a safety reward program uh, for the DLT roadside inspection report. Level one is two fifty. Level two is uh, two hundred, and level three is one hundred and fifty. I thought the level three one was the was the was the critical one. So that's so. What, so level level one is the critical one that you get uh, paid two fifty four. Yes. Okay. As far as the maintenance, uh, the maintenance goes. Yeah, I was about to get into that. Yeah, so we I, have a, I actually have a really good plan for that. So, so I, our I, platinum, which. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. About that. No, I'm listening. I'm listening. Go so ahead. Our plat- okay. So our platinum protection plan is. Unbelievable! Like I, I have a couple guys coming just for the plan because of their last company screwed them over on their truck when they broke down and stuff. So our platinum protection plan. Say something. We do re- we do like the wear and tear on tires. The only thing we don't cover on that is like road hazards. Like you run over like I know it's a dumb example, but say there's a bucket of nails there and you run over the bucket of nails, you can't bring the truck in and say, "Hey, I ran over a bucket of nails. Can you fix this?" So it covers all that. And the cool thing about it is if your truck is getting worked on maintenance wise. We'll cover everything maintenance. And if it's getting worked on, we'll give you a loaner truck for free. Cause we never want you sitting out and not making any money. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's another nice thing we do. So it says here something about uh non-refundable maintenance fund prevention program. Um, so it says here that any event of in any event of something else, um, I will be responsible for, uh, yeah, that'd be your road, ha- road hazard stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. So how, you only how do wear and tear on tires and maintenance wise? So how, how, how does this maintenance program work? Y'all, y'all take it. It says here that you guys take out like 22 cent a mile and then put it into a, a, a maintenance program or something like that. Yeah. So the, yeah, so that would pay for your maintenance on your truck. And if the money and let's say if the cost of the truck is more than what I have in the maintenance, I will have to foot the bill for that. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. If the so, if what you owe. Let's say okay. let's say that the repairs of the truck is more than what I have in my maintenance account. I think I read somewhere that I will have to foot the bill. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so like, so how that was set up, that'd be in a different account, so you can just put stuff there, so when something does happen, you just have it there. Yeah, it would work like that. Like, yeah, you would do that. Oh, okay, okay. But if I, let me ask you this. If I have to foot the bill for that, would you guys, let me ask you this. Would you guys help pay for it, and then I'll foot the bill through you? Or do I got to foot the bill with the company that's repairing my truck? We would repair it, so it would go with us. We have a shop down there, and um, oh, okay. wherever you're closest to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then I, then you guys would just take it out of my, take the additional, yeah. out of my settlement. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, like, say you do a load, and say you owe us this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it would get taken out. Like, all, I'm not the big numbers guy, but somehow the numbers match up. <laughs> What's the average? Can, can you tell me the average of what your drive, your lease drivers yeah. are making? Yeah, I was about to get to there. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So, okay. So, I don't have this week's numbers, obviously. The week isn't over yet. Last week, the week before last week, they were doing, the average was 2500 to $3,000 after all deductions. So, after everything they did, take everything out of the check, they brought home that 3000 that week. Last week, last week, the average was down to... I think it was around 2,800 and 2,500 last week. Everybody had over 200. That was average, though. So mm-hmm. we had we did have guys doing 
I think the highest last week bring home after all the reductions was forty five hundred. All right, so and that's then, so that's forty five hundred subtract what they have to pay in for their benefits and all that other good stuff, and then whatever's left over is what their take home pay uh, might be. So. Um, being that this is percentage, so we don't even have to worry about we don't even have to worry about the miles on that. Um, no, that's why that's why people don't like going far places because the, the more miles you put on your truck, the less miles you'll have when you do ha- when you do own the truck. So that's another way to look at it, I guess. But all right, that's, what, that's just some, what some other guys say. So eighty eighty six percent of the fuel charge, fuel surcharge. Yeah, and I would be I, and I would be running reefer. I'll yeah. be running a reefer trailer. All right. So as yeah. far so what's the so Peter what's I already see the trust that you guys are offering. So what what are the amenities inside of that the trust come with? Yes. So let me tell you that. It's I know this off the top of my head. It's a so they have eighty I'll just tell you the whole shebang, okay? It's ultra lot it's ultra loft cabs, eighty inch sleepers, double bunk, fifteen feet high ceiling with skylights. Wall mounts up for a forty a forty two inch TV. The TV is not included, obviously, but it has the wall mounts up if you need it. Um, it has fifteen hundred watt inverter. Has a seventeen. I mean, a seventeen. A seven point three cubic feet fried hardwired into the unit. A carrier APUs pull out workstation. And the twenty nineteen and twenty twenty models have a Cummins ISX four hundred engine. Hmm. Interesting. And they have exterior onboard cameras, no inward facing cameras. Okay. Okay. No inward cameras. What's the uh, what's the uh, ELD tap? Uh, e- what you guys use for ELDs? ELD. Uh, you're getting out of my vocabulary now. The electronic law devices. Oh yeah, that's um. Oh my gosh, I just had that in my head. Wait, what am I saying? The thing. It's net. It's something like that. Hold on. People net. People net. Yes. Okay. 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 Well, I now being that um that that I will be leasing the truck and leasing to uh purchase the truck. Let's say now you said this is walk away. So if I do decide to walk away, yeah. I just bring the truck back 100%. to you guys. Um yep. but uh, so I won't be able to until after the lease and the truck is mine, then I will be able to move the truck to a you know, lease on to a different carrier if I want to after that. Yeah, so Yes, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So how that would work? Say you want to, like I tell this guys all the time. That's why I don't understand why a lot of people want to do. Definitely, since most of the guys here are doubling, tripling what they were making as a company driver. But it is what it. But so, say okay. So you're an experienced driver, right? Yeah. How many years do you have? Six. Okay, okay. So you're right now. Okay. So you come in, get three thousand dollars final bonus for your first twelve weeks. And that's why I tell all the experienced guys that are interested. It's just like you can use that two hundred fifty dollars a week added on, deduct that from your payment. But you can use your bonus on that if you want, and it makes your payments for your first twelve weeks only like five twenty-five, I think, if you decide to use your bonus on that. Okay. But say after twelve weeks, you're like, you're just like, okay, this this ain't for me. This truck isn't for me. Reefer's not for me. Blah 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 blah. You literally bring the truck back, and you literally go in there and say, hey, this isn't for me, and I want to be done. And it's literally that, and it's in the terms, it's in everything. You literally go in there and say, hey. And if your pay, but your payments have to be caught up, so you have to be make sure you make your payments. Okay. Will so I be, after that, if you literally, if, if, yeah. if it doesn't work for me, would I be able to switch over to company, or would I have to go through yes, yes, through the yes. whole process again? No. Oh, no. okay. You would literally the only thing you would do is come in, like say you you come in, you're like, hey, this isn't for me. I just want to be a company. All you would go in there and do is this little physical thing, which is inside our building, which only, would only take you a little bit, and you'll be a company drive the next day. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hmm. This is uh. This is pretty. So wait, much... how soon are you looking for a job? <laughs> oh, like what's, not, what's not, not 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 no t- not not no time soon. I'm I'm still trying to wrap all this lease stuff around my head. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it sounds. Uh. It, I mean, it sounds. It sounds pretty decent. Uh. Of what you. Of what you're offering. Um, I do, you know what? I do have some, uh, I, I do have some drivers that I do, uh, network with and, you know, they're, you know, they're interested in looking for, you know, like, like what you guys is offering a lease purchase program type deal. 
Uh, you mind if I share yeah. this information? You mind if I share this information with them? So let's say if I was interested, um, yep. how 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 long is orientation, and how would you guys get me out to Wisconsin? All right. So, well, <laughs> I need to look at your. I do not know. What would you? Well, if you tell me your last name, I can look at your thing. But where are you from? I'm from Ohio. I have to know that. Where are you from? Oh, oh so you're not that far. Okay. So, anyways, literally, if you were to do it right now, well, it's Thursday. So, but for say, I could get you in here as soon as next Thursday. No problem. Okay. I could get you in here Thursday, and you're in Ohio. I would go find your travel. So once I find your travel. I will. We will get you up here. I don't know what the travel would be from there, but I don't know what's closed. I don't know what does that. What I don't know all that. I couldn't tell you like, hey, I'm gonna get you in a train. I'm gonna get you in a bus. I'm gonna get you blah blah blah. I can't sit here and tell you that, but I'll get you up here, right? And mm -hmm. then you're you would literally some some days our guys come in. They literally they go in the, the same day they come in. The same day they'll be out driving the truck already. All right. So what do you, what do you guys look for as far as uh, as far as uh, pre employment? Uh, drug screening is it hair follicle or or urine or both it's just urine so uh -huh. like right now so say so how i would go about it would be if you said right now hey hey i am very interested but like you say hey i want to be i want to do this i want to do this so for example i'll get your application blah 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 run the reports the reports take maybe an hour to run i'll make sure everything's good on there i will say hey we can you do a drug screen tomorrow because if you want to come next week we get the drug screen scheduled to get you in there tomorrow get the results by like monday or tuesday once we get the results back from that we could have you out here thursday and then you do your orientation is only a day so but typically they go out the same day you know what i mean they just go in there go read over stuff that you would already read over by that time and then bam you go on the road and you do you okay all right well yeah it's very fairly simple all right well again like i said this is this is a lot to take in um but i would definitely no, sure. i would definitely pass this on to uh I would definitely pass this on to my uh, to my cohorts, and uh, you know, see if they might be interested in uh, interested in uh, you know doing something with you. Uh, for me, you know, this right. this is uh, a lot to take in and a lot to think about. But thank you though, uh, thank you for the email no, for and sure. uh, thank you for your time. No problem. All right, appreciate you, man. No problem. You have a good day. You too. Now.